Donald Trump's comments last week about Social Security raised serious concerns for the over 60 million Americans who rely on its benefits. As a potential 2024 presidential candidate, anything Trump says about policy issues is scrutinized, so when he suggested knowing ways to cut Social Security programs, alarm bells went off. Social Security is one of the most important social programs in the United States. For many older Americans living on fixed incomes, it represents the difference between getting by and not. The program enjoys widespread bipartisan popularity among citizens, even if some politicians have issues with it. With so many relying on its benefits, any mention of cuts creates uncertainty and anxiety. Trump's remarks were swiftly criticized by President Joe Biden and other Democrats. They claimed Republicans would essentially destroy Social Security if given power. As the incumbent and potential 2024 opponent to Trump, Biden had an incentive to attack Trump's comments and position himself as the defender of these crucial entitlement programs. His campaign worked to turn Trump's words into an attack ad, warning voters that a Trump presidency could threaten Social Security and Medicare. However, Trump pushed back against this narrative the following day. In an interview, he asserted that he has no plans to reduce Social Security benefits and that Biden was manipulating and misrepresenting his stance. Trump stated, I will never do anything that endangers or harms Social Security. He argued benefits would remain intact and the program would not deteriorate or face reductions under his leadership. Trump accused Biden of misleadingly stoking fears for political gain. While Trump clarified his personal position, some skepticism remains about his party's commitment to Social Security. There are factions within the Republican Party that want to reform or eliminate the program. One of Trump's most vocal inter-party critics on this issue is Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin. Johnson has called Social Security a Ponzi scheme and pyramid scam and expressed a desire to terminate it. As someone not reliant on benefits himself, Johnson can afford an ideological stance that would devastate millions of recipients. His comments highlight an ideological divide within the GOP. While Trump says he won't touch Social Security, other Republicans have different views. This could create problems down the road, especially if a future GOP president feels pressure from the party's conservative base. Even raising the retirement age, as some challengers suggested Trump should do, would concern many beneficiaries. The episode showed how vulnerable Social Security remains, even after decades of popular support. With both major parties eyeing control of the White House and Congress in 2024, the political rhetoric on entitlement programs will only intensify. Both sides will keep looking for ways to position themselves as the protector or reformer when it comes to Social Security. Recipients can only hope politicians prioritize the program's integrity over partisan point scoring. But as long as its long-term funding remains a debated issue, one off-the-cuff comment will always have the power to raise the fears of those who depend on its guaranteed benefits the most. While the current debate focused on Trump and Biden's comments, the long-term health of Social Security remains an important issue with no easy answers. The program's trustees project that its old age and survivors insurance trust fund will be depleted by 2035 if Congress does not act. At that point, payroll taxes will only cover around 80% of scheduled benefits. Some options for addressing the shortfall include raising the payroll taxes that fund Social Security, increasing the retirement age to account for longer lifespans, reducing annual cost of living adjustments for beneficiaries, or finding other revenue sources to supplement payroll taxes. But any major changes face strong political headwinds. Raising taxes is toxic to Republicans, while cutting benefits could anger Democrats and seniors who rely on the program. Finding a solution will require politicians to look past partisan and electoral concerns to make difficult long-term funding decisions. But in today's polarized climate, compromise seems even more unlikely now than in previous reform attempts. Republicans are unlikely to go along with tax hikes, while few Democrats will accept anything seen as benefit cuts. With control of Congress narrowly divided, neither side has the leverage or incentive to deal. As the 2024 elections loom larger, the politics of Social Security will only intensify further. Candidates in both parties will position themselves as defenders of the program while avoiding specifics about real reform. On the campaign trail, it's much safer to accuse the other side of proposed cuts rather than propose difficult remedies of one's own. But by postponing reform, 
politicians continue risking the program's long-term stability and heighten uncertainty for future generations of retirees. Even if benefits remain fully funded through 2035, earlier action would allow for smaller, more gradual adjustments and time for workers to plan their retirements accordingly. The longer Congress waits, the fewer and more drastic options will be available down the road. The debate sparked by Trump's comments highlights how vulnerable Social Security has become to political rhetoric, despite its immense popularity with the public. As the 2024 elections approach, more grandstanding is inevitable. But for the program to remain strong in the decades ahead, politicians will need to rise above partisanship and address this challenge with serious and concrete solutions, not just accusations. The retirement security of millions depends on leadership that can transcend endless campaign politics. While major reforms remain elusive, some experts argue more incremental steps could still help without dramatically altering the program's structure or benefits. For example, increasing the amount of annual earnings subject to payroll taxes would bring more higher-income workers into the tax base. Currently, only wages up to $147,000 are taxed for Social Security in 2022. Raising or eliminating the cap over time would strengthen financing without cutting existing benefits. Other ideas include gradually raising the full retirement age, perhaps by two months per year of birth, rather than big one- or two-year jumps that seem more abrupt. Smaller and more frequent adjustments give workers more time to plan and could be phased in over multiple decades. Targeting the rate of benefit growth by reducing inflation adjustments for higher earners once their income exceeds a set threshold could also tighten eligibility for COLAs in a progressive manner. However, even modest reforms will face political obstacles without bipartisanship and compromise. Republicans will likely dismiss most tax increases while Democrats balk at anything weakening benefits. To make progress, leaders need to find a middle ground both sides see as reasonable and fair rather than politically untenable. This will require good-faith negotiations that put the program's long-term stability over short-term political gain. It means prioritizing data and expert analysis over rigid ideological stances. And it means being willing to accept less than a total victory if the alternative is inaction that risks the financial security of future generations of retirees. Breaking through partisan gridlock to forge durable solutions won't be easy after years of polarization. But with political will, there are pragmatic steps policymakers could take to strengthen Social Security for decades to come without drastic overhauls. The alternative of doing nothing only increases the likelihood of a future crisis that forces far more disruptive changes with little time for adjustment. The well-being of millions depends on leaders rising to meet this challenge.